Mike 4, okay, and then you share 3 there with the mic and 4 over there. Okay, guys, so thank you very much. First of all, uh, how do you guys prefer a character? That's the depends of the role, right? But if you guys have any technique to play to prepare your characters, so that's how we do it. Um, my process starts with, if it's a script or a play, I'll read through the play multiple times. Um, first time I would read it for pleasure, second time I'll read it from the point of view of the character, and third time I'll read it from the point of view of all the other characters. And that kind of gives me an understanding of what our, the character is, how they are perceived, and then I dive into more imaginary beast work as an actor, and creating the world that the writer has created for the characters in the story. Well, for, for this uh, part, I played in Eagle Night. It was a different process because I, luckily I had the, the, the luck to be the people that were like based on, you know, the characters were based on. So, so of course I read the script, you know, studied it, you know, made my own like assumptions, but I spent a week with the people in the, in the town there and I met, you know, like the people that were inspired, you know, that inspired the characters. So I kind of like try to be like, yeah, just met them and be with them and just like know, like understand, you know, be, be a friend. So that was a really fun process and really lucky too because you don't always get to like really meet the people who your uh, character is based on or you're like, you know, yeah, inspired, maybe not based, but inspired on. So yeah, this process for you and I was really, really amazing. Yes, uh, for me, I think um, it's true that Maria said uh, because we were in a special movie that we have to uh, listen to people uh, that, that were in this town. Uh, for me, I think the first step for me and the most important part uh, is the script first. I need to read and read again and read again until I can feel something inside of me and it's the start for me to um, to create and but always uh, when I finish uh, my, my character when I finish the movie uh, I think it's important for me uh, to finish and not to forget the, the, this process because uh, I would like to be uh, open and, and, and clear I don't know for the next I'm sorry, I don't speak very well English. I hope you will understand me. Um, for me, uh, I, um, I read a lot the script, of course, because I want to have the world come be mine. So, um, and after, and I am. Um, I imagine, I, uh, I imagine uh, the, the life uh, of the character, uh, what is past, or what, what is uh, his energy, uh, um, and um, I, um, I, I approach the character, close me. Uh, with my uh, experience, what is the, the same experience uh, with me? And uh, after, I um, I want to be free from the direction because uh, of course we prepare something, but in the, the stage there's something else. So I let the magic happen. <laughs> so this was my first time. Uh, ever in the experience of acting. So uh, for me, my, my friends from London Room, they helped me a lot with uh, going through the script. We, we, read, we read it through a lot too, so I could uh, get the uh, time of the character and the dialogue with the characters and everything like that. But uh, for the process, I was imagining, imagining myself uh, going through the process of the character. That helped, that helped me a lot to to play play the role and uh, uh, the feeling.
things that the encounter felt I, 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 I imagined myself how I would feel. So, to get a hang on what my character would be like, uh, I would read the script uh, several times, one to get the uh, gist of the story, and then I read it several times to slowly understand uh, my character's point of view and my character's role in the story. But for the process of getting deeper into the character, what I do is I create a backstory of uh, what the character is like and uh, things that happen in her life and maybe some uh, other events that would not be mentioned in the film but uh, are still relevant to the story. So I create, I create backstories for each character. Yeah, for me, um, I think the most important thing is uh, the biographical work. Um, at the beginning, when I have a role, I start physically with it, like how does it move, how does it speak, what's the energy of the character. But then after this step, I try to connect it with my personal stories and with my history and presence and make it alive. And at the end, of course, the director comes and then I hope to be free in my interpretation and to adapt. Um, yeah, with the mixture of the director's work and also with my personal stories and physical experiences. Yeah. Um, it sounds to me as though, uh, well, it's been put in so many beautiful ways, all of the actors that I'm sitting with, and I, I don't, it does sound as though we have similar processes. We start with ourselves. Of course, that's the only journey we can start with. Um, and then that's a question of make believe, um, given circumstances. And if I lived here, I lived then. And I think that's the process we've all described. Um, of course, then the next key step is to listen is to listen to what's going on around you in a scene or with your scene partner. And of course, that's where the life happens. Yeah, that's even a lot less than what I can add now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say I got a weird process. I kind of like to have a beer and read the script <laughs> and really lose myself in it and then as you said, listening to the other character's dialogue, but then placing myself into that character that I'm, a, I guess, a cast for. Um, yeah, that generally works for me, but that's usually just the first time through, but then I'll read it multiple times, and then we get straight to just the dialogue, so it's just memorization. So then by the time I'm doing like, a, I guess, like table reads, it's a little bit easier for me to uh, portray the character's feelings and emotions. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, the first thing I did uh, when uh, my father offered me the job to play uh, the role uh, was having like uh, this uh, big uh, talk with uh, part of the crew uh, before even reading the script and. Uh, empty handed listening uh, what uh, the movie was about, uh, why uh, is the movie created and all that. Then I read the script and I started uh, mixing and comparing uh, what I was living back then and what my character was about to live. So uh, that uh, made me know uh, my character better and yeah, that's it. Well, then, as they say before, um, I'm, first of all, of course, I'm reading the script a few times, and then what I'm trying to do is um, feel how the character will, will feel in that moment, and then some, most of the time I'm writing down, like, kind of like a, the background, and it be like, does he has a wife, a kids, so or where is he coming from? Why he's doing this, really blah blah blah, um, and also sometimes I'm watching other movies that help me um, create or build this character as well. So I don't know, but the most important for me is how the characters feel, um, and even when I'm reading the script, I'm feeling some way. When I'm acting, sometimes I'm because the way I'm feeling that day. I'm feeling different, and then, and then I'm acting a little bit different. So, depends how I feel. But the most important for me, the the.
character is, is 